My country, Mongolia, is covered by large steppes and mountains. It is a huge territory. My family has always put our yurts at the foot of the Konyokan Mount. We have always been nomads. My name is Batma. I am 15. Like every summer, I spend the holidays in the steppe with my parents and grandparents. We need to take him away from his mum. This calf is very strong. In the morning, I help my grandma take care of the cows. Can you bring the cows over here? Be gentle with them, OK? We have all five of the herd animals, sheep, goat, cow, camel and horse. I don't think we will ever sell our animals. I think we will just continue to tend them so that our herd keeps growing. My favorite moments are those that I spend with my family. But my dream is to move to the city, to Ulaanbaatar. Nomadic people change camps and move their yurts according to the seasons. Right now, we're in the summer camp. I have two sisters. Burji is 10 and Dulma, 7. Push me, like I did for you. My little sisters like watching cartoons. I mostly watch movies. I like adventure movies. My parents and grandparents live in the steppe all year long and take care of the animals. Dad looks after the horses as Grandpa is not so young anymore. I've always lived in the steppe, herding animals. When I was young, I was like a mountain deer, a wild water fish, an agile martin, but not anymore. Today, I'm like the udder of a tired sheep. I'm old. Why don't you come and sit here, Batma? Batma, sit next to Grandpa. In the steppe, we eat meat and milk products. It is thanks to our animals that we survive. They allow us to feed ourselves and to meet all our needs. Even our yurts are made of sheep's wool, and it is also the animals who keep us warm. Even bugs don't eat camel dung, so we mix cow and camel dung to get fuel. The herd provides for us. In an apartment, you have to pay for water, electricity. The herd makes this possible. I think that we, nomadic children, do a lot of things. Country kids help out their parents and family in many ways.
Like all nomadic women, mom has lived with dad's family ever since she got married. I would like to go and have my hair cut with Batma. With who? With Batma. We're happy to spend time with her during our vacations. The rest of the year, we don't see her very much. I'd like my daughters to get an education. They can decide later if they want to come back to the herd or not afterwards. Camels are grandpa's favorite animals. Come on. On TV, people say that nomadic people have no education, but that's not true. We're all educated. We know how to use cell phones, send texts and call. For me, school is the most important thing in order to have a stable job. I want to continue studying and go to university after I finish high school. Summer vacations are over, and we're back at school. Good morning, teacher. Good morning. Sit down. Listen carefully. Kulan bought 16 red balloons and 14 yellow balloons. In Mongolia, school starts when you're six years old. Nomadic children like us must leave their parents to get an education while they stay in the steppe to take care of the herd. Since I was a little girl, I've loved school. Back in the days, before we had measuring tools, our ancestors used to measure with their body parts. A fist. Eight centimeters. Eight centimeters, that's right. From the shoulder to the tip of the fingers? One meter. During the school year, my sisters and I live in the village of Rashant, a few hours from our family. All nomadic children from the near region come to school here. Some sleep at school, some in a yurt, and others like us in a house. It's my dad who built our home. With my sisters, we've lived on our own since last year. Before, mom was always with us. At first, it used to feel very uncomfortable being alone at home. It was a little weird without mom, but I got used to it eventually. Our great-grandma lives next door, in a yurt in the garden. She took care of the children of the family for 50 years. She's over 90 now. It was so nice back then. When I was young, I just herded our sheep riding a horse. I gathered the wool of our sheep and goats. And we had a cow to have dried dung. You were probably very busy with milking and everything. Of course. When your grandmother was small like this, she was my only child then. Whenever I needed to tend the herd, I used to open the top of the yurt a little bit. I tied her to the foot of the bed, I put a coat around her. When I came back, she was asleep, using the coat as a pillow. <laughs> it was the best solution for her to stay safe. I would leave her alone. I don't think anyone would do that today. That's for sure. Times have changed a lot. Yes, it's very different. 
Today, people even talk about sleeping in on weekends. I wonder how they do it, because my hip hurts if I lie down for too long. Four months have passed. Today is Tsagan Sar, the Lunar New Year, the biggest Mongol celebration. It's okay? No. My parents came to the village to prepare the festivities. Go, put on your shoes. Mine are blue and Dorma's are pink. They must be in a bag. Can you bring mine? Happy New Year. I wish you a happy and long life and success in your studies. Happy New Year. On Sagan Sar, we honor older people. Great Grandma is the oldest in the region, and she will have many visits. Happy New Year. I wish you a long and happy life, and to drink less alcohol. Look, it's cute. Off we go to do the ritual offerings and turn the prayer wheels. I'm on the other side, Dad. That's it. Our grandparents never come to the village, so we are going to visit them in the winter camp. The steppe has no secret for Grandpa. Harsh winters don't scare him, even if sometimes it gets to minus 50. His only fear is that our animals die from the cold. Ah, Tsagansar is a very nice celebration. It's celebrated just once a year, an important holiday, especially for herders, because in a way we are celebrating the end of winter. It might even be a tradition from the time of Genghis Khan. I don't know the exact details. <laughs> this year, Tsagansar is not too cold, so we can enjoy nature. Wait, wait. Hang on a bit. Since when do you eat sweets? Can't you wait? Here, here's another one for you. Wait! During Tsagansar, we welcome the new year and wish for it to be beautiful. It's time to think about the future. In two years, after finishing high school, I'll be taking my exams in the spring. I will start getting ready next year. I want to become a doctor. A year has passed, and I am now in 11th grade. Please introduce 
is yourself, Fatamahan? My name is Fatamahan. I am 16 years old. If I want to become a doctor, I have to study Mongol and English. But the most important topics are chemistry and biology. And it works out great since they're my favorite topics. Our village has no running water. We must go fetch it at the village well. You hold the container? A bit close to the wall. That's it. I download videos to my phone using Tubity. Mostly songs. I just downloaded this one to prepare the school talent show. It's traditional dancing. Aren't they moving their shoulders? Now they're moving their arms. Like that, but with the arms down. Stay in line. The school dance is a very special moment. We all work very hard as mom comes to the village for a few days to watch us dance. Can you lift my legs up? <laughs> Dad, Mum, me. My middle sister and big sister. This is the house. This is the flower, and here are the sheep. Spring has arrived. It is the most intense time for nomads. We leave the winter camp for the spring camp, and everything must be ready before the newborns arrive. My sisters and I are on school holidays, and we can help with the births. Her mother's milk is not enough. The wool of our goats is used to make the most beautiful cashmere in the world. It's our biggest revenue. In nomadic families, girls study more than boys. Boys often stay in the steppe to take care of the herd. But we, the girls, study so we can have other jobs that can be useful for the whole family. I'm now in 12th grade, and I will take my exam at the end of the school year. Good morning, everyone. Good, Good morning. morning. Sit down. Spring is right around the corner. I hope you will all successfully pass the exams and enrol in the university you want.
I'm going outside to play with my friends. <laughs> Anka, can you stop the swing? Okay, now you two. Enough! Hey, that's enough! Stop it! No, that's not enough. On Facebook, there's a group called Mongolian Makeup Girls. And in the group, I find plenty of information about putting on makeup and stuff like that. In Mongolia, plastic surgery is growing. I've had surgery on my eyes, but I have no intention of touching other parts of my body. Even for my eyes, it was hard to convince my parents. Dad was against it. I have to push here. No, it's already recorded. You closed your eyes. We will be taking our exams in the district of Bulgan. Students from all the villages will be there, and the ones with the highest scores will be able to enter university. I'm worried, because over a hundred kids from our district will be competing. It won't be easy to be among the top students. Eight months have gone by. I went to see my grandparents before leaving for Bulgan. I am taking the exam next week. You're leaving? Yes, I have to go. At what time? At four. She will be going to Bulgan with her friends. How long will you stay there? Six or seven days. You will all stay together? Yes. Mm -hmm. Where will you sleep? There is a place for that. And for the meals? We can handle it. Already 18. You can fend for yourself. And you don't need our help. You always had good grades, so this time also it will work. Come here so I can kiss you. You are the first of our grandchildren to graduate. I'm going. Bye. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> Bulgan is 190 kilometers away. It's not that far, but the roads are difficult. They're mostly dirt roads, so it takes about six hours to get there.
This exam is very important. My future depends on it. I would be so happy to enter the National University of Medicine. Stop it. What? He keeps licking me. Summer holidays have come. My sisters and I are back in the steppe with the family. But this summer is different. I had my results, but it's not what I was hoping for. She studied a lot, but they accept very few students from our province. For them, it's more difficult than for kids from the city. Her grades were good, but they just accepted too few students. Wait, wait! I'm going to roll directly from here. No, I'm going to jump. We went to the dunes of El Sentasar High, just near our summer camp, but I don't feel like having fun. What's up? Over 130 students took the exam for medical school. The university only had eight spots for our province, and I failed. So I accepted nursing school, and I went back home. My family is very proud that I will study to be a nurse in Ulaanbaatar, but I'm not happy. Of course we'll miss her, even if we have a telephone now. She'll only be able to come back during her vacation. The phone is a wonderful thing. We can see images. It's good. Yes, now that we have internet, it's easier to communicate. The telephone is so great. Way back in the days, we didn't used to go far away to study in a university. We just studied up to the fourth grade. To become a herder? Yes, we dropped out to become herders. Then after four or five years, we would get married and leave. <laughs> and we had to cook for everyone. What are you making? I'm making a horrendous dumpling, just like you taught me. Are you watching the sheep, Batma? I'll go check on them later. Look at my weird dumplings. They have very weird shapes. It doesn't look very nice. <laughs> Let me give you a kiss. Okay, now go show your parents.
Is Batmar leaving tomorrow or the day after tomorrow? Batmar is leaving tomorrow. I've thought about it a lot, and I really don't feel like being a nurse. Tomorrow, I'll be in Nulan Batar. I hope I will find a solution. You'll have to be careful now that you'll be alone. Since all those people in the building go through the same door, they'll easily realize that you just moved in. For the first time, I will have to lock my door. In the step, we always leave the door of the yurt open to welcome people. But in the city, everything is different. I always dreamed of being a doctor, of taking care of others. I would like to be able to help my parents and family. Life in the steppe is difficult, and health care is complicated to get. Finally, in Ulaanbaatar. I will have to get used to it. It is the most populated capital city of the world. I will live among one and a half million inhabitants, half of the population of the country. And each year, we are more people, because ex-nomads come and put their yurts here, making the city even bigger. I've learned that there are several private universities of medicine in Ulaanbaatar. It does not cost more than the national university. I'm not sure if it can work, but I must try. I applied to two universities. Fingers crossed. The human body, the bone structure, joints, muscles, digestive system, urinary system, reproductive system, one by one you'll be studying them. This one lights up. If you look at it, what you see in green is the forehead, the frontal bone. In the end, I was accepted in a private university. It was not my first choice, but it means I can be a doctor at the end of my studies, and it is all that matters. I live in an apartment in the neighborhood of Bayanzor. The university is completely on the other side of town.
ça. OK, I'm done. I just want to sit down. Oui. My family bought this apartment so that my sisters and I can study in the city. It was very expensive. My parents took a loan, and Grandpa sold most of his beloved camels. He was sad, but for us, he did not hesitate. I'm going to be here for a long time, so I just have to get used to it. First, I'll study for six years. Then I'll have to work at a local clinic. Then, if I want to specialize, I'll have to study for four more years. Mum went back to the countryside when I was in second or third grade. It was very weird. I used to sleep with Mum, and all of a sudden I had to sleep with Batma. It's very hard. I still miss Mum sometimes. When my older sister was here, she did all the housework. Now that she's gone, we spend hours doing it. I don't even have time to play with my phone. Yesterday, Batma called me and we did a video chat. It would be great if we could all be together as a family and Batma with us. It's hard. Before, Batma cooked for us. It has been two months since I came here. Air pollution is even worse than I thought. What I don't like in Ulaanbaatar is that you always have traffic jams. And in the morning, I take the bus for one hour and a half, but I'm starting to get used to it. In the morning, if I don't leave home on time, I'm really late for class. Acids. We've already spoken about several acids. Classes used to last for 40 minutes in high school, and it seemed long. Now it's twice as much, and it is very long. <laughs> How many carbon atoms are there? In my class, we are mostly girls. In fact, in medical school, we are more than 80% girls. I'm happy to meet new people in the university. It's nice having new friends from different places. Some of my classmates are from the countryside, and some grew up in the city. Since school started, we've learned to know each other well. It's been two months now, so we've become closer. Yeah. 
Good afternoon, dear honorable professors, dear students. I salute you on this great day. Now I am in medical school. Since it is my own choice, it feels great. Even if I have to study hard, I love it because I have a goal. I want my dream to come true. As a student, aspiring to do the great deed of protecting the health of our people, I will build my knowledge by studying hard, I swear. Winter has come, and it is very cold. My parents stayed in the steppe to take care of the animals, but my grandparents had to come to the village to help my sisters. When the kids are at school, we keep the fire and cook for them. I miss the animals a lot. Sometimes when the gate is open, cows come into my yard, and it makes me feel good. <laughs> This is the first winter I'm spending with my mum in 50 years. Of course it feels good to spend the winter together. We see each other each day. Sometimes mum comes to see me. I come to see her for sure once or twice a day. I will go back to the steppe soon. It's better I go help my son. I will be able to look around the steppe with my telescope. Here I have nothing to do but go to the toilet. If Grandma can't stay with us next year, Mum said we'll go to Ulaanbaatar. My sister Orji says she won't go anywhere, that she'll stay here. So, what's this called? The horizon line. Yes, the horizon line. Here we draw a line for the width. The length line is a bit longer. And so here is our roof. Now you should be able to do it for yourselves. We will go back to the steppe for spring, to be there when the animals give birth. I'm sure that one of my granddaughters will stay in the countryside. The herd that we inherited from our ancestors cannot be left without a master. You're hiding. You miss me. Here I am. 
Again. <laughs> I quickly got used to running water. My daily routine has completely changed since I moved to Ulaanbaatar. I leave my house at 7 a.m. and come back at 4 or 5 p.m. Often, when I arrive, I am tired and I fall asleep. I wake up around 8 or 9 p.m. and I study until I go to bed. <laughs> the temperature is now minus 20. It's good that the gym class is now inside. Shouldn't you sit the other way round? No, I got it all wrong. Your turn now. It's four times forward and twice on the side? Four times on each side. You're doing it backwards. And 11. No, it was supposed to be 12. You lost. Too bad. Now we're ready for skipping rope competitions. <laughs> you must put the pipette inside and let it drip. I'm happy with my university. Now that I started, there is no going back. There's some small white bubbles. At the moment, living in the city feels good. There are many things to do and places to see. That's why I like it. It's pretty. When spring came back, my grandparents moved back to the steppe. As always in the spring, my family changes camps. I am so glad not to be there because it is so much work. Nomadism is part of Mongolian culture, so I don't think it will ever stop. But I don't know, maybe if we stopped changing camp each season, life would be easier. During Tsagansar, the Lunar New Year, I saw my sister. She told me that we must dream big, and the best time for me is now while I study. My big dream is to open up my own clinic, and you must always believe in your dreams for them to come true. Even if my future is in the city, I want to take care of my family and be useful for my community. Thank you.